What's up, friends? Welcome to Web3 Academy, a place for entrepreneurs, creators, and marketers to explore and learn how to use Web3 to transform business models and create thriving communities. Enjoy this next episode. GM, GM, welcome everyone back to another episode of Web3 Academy podcast. Uh, we're doing another edition of what we did last Monday, which is it's just me. Uh, and I'm just going to discuss an article that was just written uh, and dive into a little bit more detail. Um, this one is not necessary, necessarily a learning article or a thought piece like before, uh, but actually it's an update on what's happening with Web3 Academy and our community. Uh, so I'm excited to, to dive into this and to share. Uh, we at Web3 Academy have been learning a lot from our community, been learning a lot from the guests that come on our podcast. Um, and I think it's time that we upgrade the experience inside Web3 Academy for all of you, the listeners, uh, and those that are in our Discord. Um, so let's get started here in this, and, uh, and we'll discuss some of the details of what's happening. This should be a shorter uh, episode today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, by the way, I'm Kyle Reed, head founder of Web3 Academy and Impact Digital Marketing. Usually I have a co-host on here, Jay Hamilton, uh, but this will be just me today. So the times are changing and so is Web3 Academy. As you might know, our mission is to help entrepreneurs, creators, and marketers stay on the forefront of Web3 innovation and to help you understand how to build new businesses and integrate existing business in Web3 effectively. Um, we're different than a lot of what's out there in terms of crypto and Web3, which is a lot on the markets and the prices. Instead, we're focused on utility and how to create and generate value uh, in this space long into the future. And so for us to do this properly, we feel it's time to start using Web3 tools within our own community, right? The best way to learn is by doing. And so I'm just going to come out, come right out and say it, but Web3 is becoming a tokenized community. Okay, so when token, the question we always have on Twitter, uh, when token, well, it's right now. It's happening right now as you listen to this. And no, we're not airdropping a social token for you to sell and make a quick buck on. Sorry, traders, it's not this. However, what we are doing is giving away a free Web3 Academy NFT badge. Um, this is also known as a POAP or a proof of attendance protocol. Okay, and this N NFT will be the key to enter the Web3 Academy Discord channel uh, in the future. Okay, in addition to other benefits that may come, um, but we'll get more into that in just a second. Now, not everyone can get their hands on this NFT. Uh, basically, what's happening is um, you, you must apply first. And if you're a good fit for the Web3 Academy community, uh, we will airdrop the NFT into your wallet, or likely we're going to email you um, a way to, to, uh, to claim that NFT. Okay, so all you have to do is actually, if you're listening to this or you're watching uh, in the links below, there will be a, a link to a survey slash application. Uh, just complete that and, uh, and that'll get you in and we will get you your NFT. Okay, um, now why are we doing this? Why would we tokenize? It's still fairly early, to be honest. Web3 Academy has only been around for a couple months. Uh, why tokenize the Web3 Academy community? Well, there's a few reasons here of why we do this. One, we want to practice what we preach and ensure our community is learning and interacting with Web3 tools, right? That's the whole point of this is to start using this stuff. Uh, and that's really how you learn. And so we want to, uh, we want to start using it in our own business uh, slash community so that we can learn, but also so that you can all experiment, um, experience it from the other side uh, and see how it works. Uh, and so in the beginning, it's just the utility of of basically gating access into a Discord channel, uh, but there will be a lot more that comes down the road. So we wanna showcase the utility of Web3 tools and, and together watch how they create more engaged and active communities. Um, so I think NFTs uh, and, and tokens in particular, they, they really change sort of the incentive frameworks around communities and business. And if you've listened to our last, um, interview with uh, Jeff Coffin. We talked a lot about that there. Um, so I highly recommend you check that out. Um, but it really changes the whole structure and, um, and just sort of the, the way that communities engage with each other. And I think um, launching this NFT will help with that. Um, but we'll have more NFTs and tokens and things in the future that I think you'll see make a, a huge difference. So the third reason that we want to do this is we want to make Web3 Academy Discord more exclusive, right? And more active for a like-minded group of people. So as our podcast grows, which it's been growing um, exponentially at the moment, and same with our newsletter, we're getting a lot of people interested and a lot of people joining the Discord every single day. Uh, it's actually getting kind of difficult to keep up with. And 
one of the things that we learned from um, almost all of our guests that we've had on the podcast so far is that with Web3 and especially with community, in the beginning, it's important to do the non-scalable things first. And eventually that's what's going to allow you to scale. Um, we had it, it was mentioned on our marketing panel. Um, it was mentioned, I think, by the growth uh, panel that we had, and it was mentioned with Jeff as well. And so one of the things we realized is we're kind of just allowing anyone and everyone into this Discord at the moment. Um, and that's not the non-scalable thing, right? Um, instead, what we want to do is cultivate a community of a specific group of people, right? Um, so those that are actually doing things in the space, and this is what we, we talk about all the time. So those that are building or are kind of um, creating a plan for what to build and whether that's integrating their existing Web 2 business into Web 3 or it's a Web 3 native business um, or whatever. Uh, those are the kind of people we want to be uh, in our community and we want sharing. Um, and so by gating the community uh, and using um, an NFT to, to gate that community, we get to ensure that the right people are joining in and it's those that have a Web3 wallet and those that are you know, actually in the space. Um, if, it's, if you're completely new, uh, then the podcast is where you should be listening and the newsletter is where you should be paying attention to. And maybe this Discord community is not, uh, is not the best place for you yet. Um, so by launching this NFT, we begin Web3 Academy's footprint uh, on the blockchain. Right, an open, immutable, and decentralized database that will literally store this uh, footprint for eternity. It will always be there. And um, so what's, what's interesting here is we begin our journey to experiment with our community and collect sort of like a track record of our most active and engaged members. So one of the things that this allows is whether it's five years from now, 10 years from now, 100 years from now, we can always see who was the first wallets or people that interacted with our business. Who were the ones that first completed this application and survey and got that NFT? And this allows us to reward you in the future, right? If we launch products, if we launch events, whatever, we can give you access, we can give you discounts, we can whatever, I don't know, we'll see where this goes. Um, but it basically creates that footprint in, in a way that can't be changed or lost. And we can always go back and reference it. Um, so we know who our most engaged and early adopters of the community is. And I think that's really, really cool. And something that if you are starting a, a Web3 business or a community, something you should be thinking uh, about as well um, is you want to reward those who supported you early on. Uh, and the blockchain allows you to do that so long as you use the Web3 tools. So what will the NFT do uh, is a question here. And well, at first, not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, its first utility will be, will be essentially a key. And you need this key to unlock the channels in the Web3 Academy Discord. Um, so this won't happen until about May 15th is when we'll turn it on. Uh, so meaning everybody that's currently in the Discord, um, all you've got to do is fill out the survey slash application, uh, and then you'll be able to get your NFT and you can verify it in the Discord uh, and so you still have access. Those who don't, um, which again, will likely be those who are less engaged, um, those who don't will lose access to the Discord channels. Um, and so again, this is just a way to create a more engaged and active community uh, and understand who the members are in our community. And so we can cultivate and create more um, value uh, specific to those, to those people. So... Um, and so as the Web3 Academy audience is growing so quickly, it's important we put an emphasis on cultivating an active, engaged community um, because ultimately the, the, in Web3 specifically, it's all about community first. The, the product or the, the protocol or the business you're going to build, it, it comes after the community. And so you need that foundation there. And, and that foundation, the, the people are what kind of help you decide the direction of the business. And so that's, that's why we want to make this a more exclusive uh, and active, um, active community. And so uh, this means that every new member to our newsletter or that downloads our Web3 report moving forward, so anyone that's not currently in the Discord, not currently a member, will be required to complete this application and will be vetted uh, before receiving the NFT and accessing the community. Now, what that means to vet, we, we honestly don't know yet. Um, again, we're doing the non-scalable things first. So what we're going to do is see who are all the people that are in the community, who fills out these applications, who are the ones that are excited to be a part of this community, and we can sort of learn from that. And then either the community or just our core team uh, will start to decide on what else or who else do we want inside of this community. Um, 
so we'll kind of we'll kind of see how that goes, and we'll we'll make sure to update everyone uh, on how that on how that functions and works. Uh, a lot of the people we've been speaking to on the podcast, like Jeff, who is the founder of JumpDAO, um, and Jakey, who is the founder of uh, Safari DAO, um, they also have private discords, and you need to fill out an application and get approved to come in. Um, and we're part of their communities, and and they're very engaged, and um, they do a great job. And we thought, you know what, let's try and do it publicly first. Um, and so far, our community is great. We love it. Um, but we want to see, we want to experience Web3 and see how this changes things, changes the dynamics. Um, and hopefully you can all learn from this as well uh, with your own communities. So the NFT is free. We're not going to charge anything here. Um, we don't, we don't want to earn anything from Web3 Academy right now. Uh, and especially not as we just build up the community. That's, there's not enough value there to you guys yet. Um, for us to be making any sort of revenue. And when we do uh, make revenue, we want to make sure that that's, you know, given back to the community in some way. So right now um, we feel that a good, solid, engaged community should come naturally and without a cost. Um, and so we want to give this NFT away for free, let everyone experiment with it, uh, let us continue to add more utility to it. Um, and eventually the NFT holders in the future will be rewarded, right? Maybe with more access to online or in real life events, Maybe it's discounts for new products or early access to new features. Um, again, we'll see, we'll see where that goes. And this will be up to the core team at Web3 Academy, uh, but also potentially up to um, the NFT holders. And we can let you guys vote and decide. Um, that's one of the cool things about these NFTs is we can start to do governance and voting uh, to those who hold, um, to those who hold this, this token. So who, who will receive the Web3 Academy NFT and access the community? Um, so this community is for the doers, right? We, we use that word a lot. We have the Web3 Doer Spotlight every Tuesday um, where we interview people who are doing things in this space. Um, and so really it's, it's for the creators, it's for the entrepreneurs, it's for the marketers who are either already doing something in Web3 and whether that's building, creating, uh, writing, you know, whatever, as long as it's something you're passionate about and you're, you're actually like involved in, then we want you inside of the, the community. It's also for, um, for the above people who are serious about figuring out what to do in Web3. Maybe they haven't made that jump yet, um, but they're serious and they've already started you know, building out a plan or gaining skills somewhere, or they're just trying to get um, their, their kind of foot going, their bearings in place so that they can start doing in, in Web3 and they just sort of need that lift. Um, what it's not for is the traders, the shillers, the, the, the talkers, the people who, you know, we don't want any of that fluff in this community. We want to make sure, um, we want Web3 Academy community to be a place where we get shit done, right? And we help each other achieve uh, greatness and build a better world, right? We think that's the potential of Web3. And we want to make sure that we are uh, bringing together a community of people who believe in that as well um, and are going to help each other uh, do that. So it's a community where you can go to get answers. It's a community where you can go to get connected um, and you can, you know, share ideas. That's really what we want for Web3 Academy um, and for the community. So if that's what you want, um, then again, I, I highly recommend you, you please complete the survey, which is in the show notes below. Um, and once you do that, we will be rewarding you with an NFT so that you can, um, you can access the community. So some of the other things that we're doing, if we just talk community for a second, um, because I know this is something that a lot of people are trying to understand how to build a good community. And it's something that we're just experimenting and learning. And so um, we are starting an AMA inside of our, our Discord uh, channel. So for those who have the NFTs, you'll be able to uh, access this where Jay and I um, will be available. And eventually maybe members of the team will be available uh, to answer questions for everyone else in the community. Um, and whether that's about a business and you want some ideas, you want to brainstorm, you want to do a little bit incubator session, or you just have questions about the future of Web3 or, or how to uh, implement Web3 now, um, we'll be available and we'll be running, I think, probably monthly AMAs um, to answer questions and, and to get more involved with the community. We have a lot of other um, ideas and things planned uh, for, for the community. And so, uh, but this is the next step. The next step is tokenizing the community and, and making it sort of a more exclusive um, place. And so for those of you that are in here already, um, just pay attention to how the Discord changes over the next few weeks. Right now it's been open and public and anyone can join. Um, and let's see how this evolves the community over the coming weeks to months. Um, it may be a good uh, lesson for any of you who are currently running communities or starting communities. Um, so we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. 
Um, and then we may get into to launching additional tokens in for, for other um, for other reasons and with different utilities. We'll see uh, again how that goes. So that's that's really the, the gist of what's happening and where Web3 Academy is going. We do have some other things that are coming, but they're more about a month, month and a half away. So I will save those for another time. Um, for those of you that are in the community and listening to this, if you have other ideas and thoughts uh, that you want to contribute to this community, um, please do so. Please let us know inside the Discord. Um, again, this is an experiment that's just a public experiment for everyone in here. So we can all sort of learn together on best ways to cultivate and bring together community um, of like-minded people. So um, again, we're experimenting and we hope that you guys will give us feedback. We hope that you will um, you know, help us uh, grow this as well. Um, and, uh, and I think that's the power of kind of doing this publicly and in the open for everyone uh, rather than private and hidden and, uh, and just kind of doing our own thing. So um, I think that covers uh, everything that we're doing. Again, please fill out the application. It really helps us understand who's in there and it will allow us to bring on better guests that are more suitable to your needs. It allows us to run better events, uh, whether that's AMAs or, or um, other, you know, in real life or other things that we're doing uh, that are catered more to you. Um, so just uh, let us know. And, and we've got a team that can, can, implement and get shit done and put a lot of things together. And we want to make sure that we're giving the most value uh, possible to the community. Okay, guys, thank you so much for, for listening. Have a great Monday, unless you're listening to this on another day. Uh, we've got some great um, guests coming up uh, in the month of May for the podcast. So we're excited to keep the learning going. And, uh, and we'll see you guys inside of the Discord moving forward. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to Web3 Academy. We hope this helps you along your Web3 journey. If it does, please share this episode and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. By the way, if you have yet to join the Discord community, you are missing out. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we learn, where we ask questions, where we network. Uh, you want to be in there. The link to join is in the description below. And finally, a quick disclaimer. Nothing in this podcast was financial advice. Crypto and Web3 can be risky. You can literally lose it all. In fact, if you invest on account of what we say, you probably will lose it all. So don't do that. In all honesty, the point of this podcast is to remove the noise of markets and price and focus on utility and implementation anyway. So you should not take any of this as financial advice. Thank you, friends, and see you in the next one.